So Venom comes out in less than a week and the buzz for this movie's kind of been all over the place. So today we're debating, will it be awesome or will it be awful? So let's talk about it. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Sean Chandler. And I'm Andy King. And I started this channel because I was driving everyone around me crazy, except Andy, talking about movies way too much. If you can relate to that, that you like to talk about movies more than the people around you, you're probably in the right place. And with that in mind, I wanted to talk about the new Venom movie and debate with someone, will it be awesome or will it be awful? So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at five different categories and we're gonna debate based off that category, will it be awesome or will it be awful? Before we get started, go ahead and tell us down below in the comments section, what do you think? thinking about this movie? Are you digging the trailers? Do you think it's working? Is this going to be a better translation of the Venom character to the screen? Tell us your thoughts down below. With that said, let's get started. We're going to kick it off talking about Tom Hardy. All right, good. We're in agreement. Yep. Why do you love Tom Hardy? Well, I got to admit, I saw him in The Dark Knight Rises. When he commits to a role, he commits to a role. And he chooses interesting roles. Right, right. Especially in Dunkirk. He is just a good actor. In and my it opinion. Trans like physically transforms his body for roles. Yes. You can see him as the fun, charming character. Oh, absolutely. You can see him as terrifying. He was Bane. He was in uh, even This Means War, the one with Chris Pine. Not a yeah. great movie, but like he's totally transformed into a different person. It came out six months oh, beforehand. Yeah. And to make it a personal one, so you interned for me back in 2012. We went to go see The Dark Knight Rises at the big IMAX in downtown Austin. You went as <laughs> Bane with full costume and everything. Well, I mean, uh, once again, I, I support Tom Hardy and I wanted to be there for him in spirit, so figured I'd commit as well. Next category, the director, Ruben Fleischer. Mm. Okay, so we're both mixed on this one as well. I mean, for me, Zombieland, awesome. If that, was his, if that was his resume, I'd be going into this, oh, this is gonna be really cool. But... This, yeah, the rest of his resume. I mean, 38 minutes or less, I'll be honest, there's a, like a subpar movie and Gangster Squad, very, very like par, very there for me. Okay. But even looking at these movies, right, right. I don't naturally go zombie land. You know what that guy should do? Venom. Uh, no, I, I feel very mixed because Zombieland was a little, you know, was very comedic. And right. Venom has a very much darker tone. And that's kind of what makes this one tricky because he's got greatness. We've seen him do things that are really good. And then we've seen him do things that are not as good but I don't even know how the things that are good translate to this movie. Third category, the PG-13 rating. Oh, are we dividing over oh, on this one? Yep, I guess so. Why are you going um, negative? Okay, well, let's go into the fact that Venom is a little bit psychopathic, and uh, if they're going with Carnage for the villain, which there's been a lot of speculation on, then there's only one way to capture a true homicidal maniac, which is with the hard R rating. I, for me, I just go, we've done so many comic book movies and we've shown you can go dark. You can kill yes. half of yes. the MCU yes. in a PG-13 movie. So there's a lot that you can do without having to go R. You don't have to drop F-bombs. You don't have to actually show him eating people's arms, livers, and spleens. So you can do a lot. You can do so much with a PG-13. I think that's fair. I see you. I respect it. But I'm just saying, we're in this kind of, right, we're in this age where you've got Logan, you've got Deadpool. You've got Deadpool 2. Right. And I just, you know, you can do R ratings. Heck, you've got, I think, a Spawn movie coming out again. I, I guess the other rumor is, is that potentially Tom's going to show up in the Easter egg in the post credit scene or something like that. They're wanting to tie it to Spider-Man. So I just look at it and I go, you can do so much. It opens opportunities. The likelihood that this movie would be profitable if they went R is so low because of how much money they have to make. So I just see a lot of the positives in going with the PG-13. But as, as an adult male, I guess, to be fair, I would prefer to watch him actually eat people and things like that. I'm just saying, let's, you know, if we're paying the price of admission, let's get a fun ride out of it. Real quick, before we go into our final two categories, I put up a user poll. I asked you guys your take on the movie, and this is what you guys had to say. With 5,400 votes counted, this is very interesting. You guys are very positive on this movie. With only 3% of you saying it'll be awful, only 4% of you saying it will be bad, only 18% saying it will be mad, 34% are going it's going to be good, and 41% of you are saying this movie's going to be awesome. And here's what you guys had to say. Frederick R. Doris says, awesome, way better than the Spider-Man 3 version. Scott Stapp, hopefully the real Scott Stapp, says, good, I'm skeptical because Sony has failed in the past, but the trailers have all impressed me. Blue Inkling says, meh, it's Sony trying to make another cinematic universe. And Brandon Webb, meh, the movie looks like it's going to be 
like a bird in the wind. Fourth category, the review embargo only lifts two days before release. I'm gonna go negative on that. All right, for me, my thought, for, they're trying to launch this cinematic universe. They're doing something new. Right. And you, if you've got a good product, like these MCU movies, all the review embargoes are two weeks beforehand because they're so good. They want people talking about it. Okay. And so the fact that this one is so late with something that's so kind of controversial, people have mixed feelings on it, makes me worried. That's normally not a good sign when superhero movies have such a late embargo. I'm worried. I think we might be pleasantly surprised. So right. people might still be on fire to see this movie. And to play devil's advocate for myself, also there's the potential that one of the reasons they haven't been super clear on how this ties to the MCU or not is because they're gonna have a post credit scene, Tom Holland shows up, they've got maybe a great third act, Woody Harrelson turns into Carnage, and they wanna keep all that a secret. So maybe that's one of the reasons that the trailers have been interesting is that they're holding a whole lot back. And honestly, that's a fair point because one thing that really has failed the DC Cinematic Universe is people often comment they reveal too much yeah. during trailers. And and speaking of the trailers and the clips, our final category, the trailers. I'm going mixed on this one. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Okay, all right. So you're the Venom fan. Yeah. You're going thumbs up, why? Okay, I literally saw Venom beat some dudes to death with another <laughs> one of their dudes. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sold on that. I know we got this. But in that clip, he throws the guy, it does the Wilhelm scrub. <laughs> And that's so overplayed as a comedic bit. You've got Venom and we're still going, ah! I mean, <laughs> that's overplayed. I got rose colored glasses on, man. I just want to win for a Spider-Man villain right now. This is even why I called this video awesome or awful. That's what I feel like this movie's going to be. Mm. If they pull it off, I'm going to be like, that was awesome. A unique, interesting, anti-hero uh, uh, anti character. Yeah, right. Or the talking to himself stuff's going to be awful. And it's, I mean, I, I just don't see any middle ground on this one. And I watch the scenes in the trailer. And I go, oh, he's beating guys. That's awesome. Wilhelm scream. Not so awesome. Everything is like that for me. I go right, back right. and it, forth between what I'm feeling about it. And here's my thing, right? Is the MCU caught a lot of flack early on, or maybe superhero movies in general, from deviating too much from the comics. But honestly, if Sony has a vision that we're not seeing, they might have an opportunity to do something big here. I mean, they might have an opportunity to segue into the MCU by kind of recreating Venom's origin story for, I don't know, a new fan base. I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a few days. You're coming with me to the press screening? Yes, sir. Let's go. Very exciting. If you like this video, be sure to check out that playlist to the left with my absolute best Spider-Man videos. This week, we're going to have several different videos on Venom, so be sure to check that out and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and keep talking movies too much.